green catcher. Green catchers, green catchers don't catch greens. They capture or catch the attention of the dreaming body. When you sleep, your dreaming body leaves your physical body. Your dreaming body, your astral body. Another level of projection is probably a better way to understand it. But we leave our bodies, our physical bodies, and go off into the dream world. So there are common features of dreams and that is what I want to talk about, the common features of dreams. Not about dream interpretation as you know it, you know, like if you see a duck it means, well, you know what I mean, a book of relevant meanings. We can all make those up and project them. See, the idea of a dream catcher is to catch your attention just before you return to your body. So you have it up near your head where you're sleeping. Up near your head where you're sleeping. Something that's shimmery. Uh, you, know, you know the sort of thing, beads and crystals. A good one that I had was a picture of Shiva, a hologram that changed from black to white as you moved past it. So Shiva changed colour. And the idea is that you, it catches your attention before you come back into your body. And so you wake up in your body. So it's catching your attention in your, in your, in your dream body so that you become aware of your dream body. And the importance of this will become clear. One man wanted a dream interpretation where he's get a dream where he saw his two daughters were possessed and they killed him and he asked what this meant and what it means is very interesting you see because it means that he saw their astral bodies leaving or re-entering their physical bodies and thought they were possessed. When he realised this, he realised that he was, all, he was out of his body. So because he was out of his body, he assumed he was dead. Obvious. You know, if I haven't got a body, if I'm not in my body, and I'm dead. So this is often a, an experience we have, like being shot in the head is entering or leaving our bodies very fast. Falling is returning to our physical bodies. Often we dream that we go into a place where we are by a pool of water, you know, with people dancing, cavorting in the water, and then when we before we then we have to dive into the water back into the liquid light and come back into this world into our physical bodies then often when we are in our physical as we return to our physical bodies we, we get a divided attention so we see our astral body returning and we think it's some sort of demon we think we've been attacked by a demon so the experience of returning to the body is often the experience of being chased by something but it's our own astral body reconnecting or the consciousness returning so as I say, most of the dreams remember are those moments of returning to the body. And then if we become aware at that time and we're out of the body, we think we're dead. So often we have these traumatic dreams. some of you are probably divided thinking oh you know you're probably atheist trolls who think all oh, this is nonsense and then there are other, others who are aware that there's you know scientific research into remote viewing 
you know, psychics involved in forensics, true remote viewing. So you need to change your mind, you need to open your mind. But the main thing is for those who experience dreaming to understand some things. You know, that it's the astral body leaving the physical body. Now, for example, often you get girls who are traumatized because they get attacked. Or they have visions of either dogs or snakes in their dreams. Now they need to be aware that they can actually be stalked in their dream by some companion or acquaintance or neighbour or stranger. Even, you know, separated lovers can dream of each other. We can dream together. We can dream together and project the same dream around us, the same 3D reality we can imagine together this is what group think is dreaming together this is how we're controlled this is why you all believe this is a load of nonsense about leaving your body but many will realize what I'm saying is divine objectivity is the truth and as Miller Roper says you know, realizing the triple body, you know, first of all this body, then the, the dream body, and then the angel body. Is true mysticism. That's all it is, and realize, so you, the first thing is to realize the dream, the dream body. And in the dream body, we can dream the past and the future. We can have visions of the future. You know, crucial events. The place where we're going to move to next, the movement, the movement of forces, you know, beyond our knowledge. But so we can interact with each other in dreams. And there are symbolic symbols that do appear in dreams. But the dream catcher is to catch your attention, to make you aware. body that leaves this physical body at death. <laughs>